All right, let's uh, dive into some serious watch tech. Okay. The Citizen Skyhawk EcoDrive. Yeah. This watch isn't just solar powered. Right. It's also radio controlled. It is. So it syncs up with atomic clocks all around the world. Train me. Imagine that your watch is accurate to, well, an atomic clock. Yeah. And what I think is really cool yeah. is how they managed to cram in all this tech, oh, right. like world time and chronograph. Oh, yeah. Alarms. Mm -hmm. Even a slide rule bezel for calculations. I love that feature. Yeah, it's amazing. All into this design that still feels really wearable. It is, yeah. So we're going to be your guides through the instruction manual. That's right. But don't worry, we're not just reading it like a textbook or anything. Yeah, we're going to skip all the boring stuff. Yeah, we're pulling out the fun stuff, oh, those yeah. interesting nuggets of information. Exactly. So we'll start with the basics. Okay. Getting you up and running with the Skyhawk. And then things will get really interesting as we explore some of its more advanced features. Yeah, the fun stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. But first, okay. imagine never having to set your watch again. <laughs> oh, wow. The Skyhawk does it for you. Oh, wow. Syncing up with atomic clocks yeah. for unmatched accuracy. And it syncs multiple times a day, too, right? Up to three times a day. Yep. Oh, wow. So you're always going to have the right time. That's amazing. But before we get into harnessing the power of atomic timekeeping, okay. you need to make sure your Skyhawk is charged. Oh, yeah. Like anything that's solar powered, it needs sunlight to function. Right. A quick glance at the second hand will tell you the charge status. Yeah, that's cool. If it's moving in one second intervals, you're good to go. Okay. But if it's moving every two seconds, yeah, that's your cue to get it some sunlight. You need to charge it up. And speaking of sunlight, yeah, the manual has this awesome table. Okay. It's called the Guide to Charging Time. And it breaks down exactly how long you need to expose the watch to various light sources. Gotcha. For a full charge. Okay. Direct sunlight, obviously the most efficient. Makes sense. But even indoor lighting will do the trick. Okay, so you have options. Yeah. That's good. And once it's fully charged, yeah. it can run for six months without additional charge. Six months. Six months. That's incredible. That's the beauty of EcoDrive. Yeah. Sustainable and accurate. It is. Now, before we start exploring all the really cool features, okay. there's one crucial step. Okay, what's that? It's called confirming the re reference position. The reference position. Yeah, it's basically like calibrating the watch. Oh, okay. The watch's internal compass to make sure everything's aligned. Gotcha. And the manual walks you through it step by step. Perfect. You basically pull out the crown. Okay. Turn it until the mode hand is pointing at CHR, which stands for chronograph mode. Okay. And then pull the crown out one more click. And what happens then? The hands will spin for a moment. Oh, okay. And then they'll freeze. All right. At that point, you just need to make sure that the hands are at their correct position. Okay. So, for example, the hour, minute, and second hands should all be at 12.0. That makes sense. If everything lines up, you're golden. Okay. But if not, the manual also explains how to manually adjust the reference position. Oh, okay. So you can fix it if it's not quite right? Exactly. That's good. Now, here's a quick tip. Okay. Magnetism can mess with the reference position. Really? Yeah. So be mindful of everyday objects. Okay. That generate magnetic fields. Okay. Like your phone. Oh, okay. Your fridge. Oh. Even some handbags. Interesting. So just be aware of that. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Now that we got those pre-flight checks out of the way. Right. Let's talk about actually setting up your Skyhawk. <laughs> that sounds good. First up, you need to set your home city. Okay. And this is important because it determines which atomic clock the watch syncs with. Oh. There's a list of cities in the manual. Okay. And they're all linked to specific radio wave transmitters. Okay. But the watch is smart enough to automatically select the one that provides the strongest signal. Oh, that's cool. So you don't have to worry about figuring that out. That makes it easy. Once you've set your home city. Okay. It's time to set the time. Okay. Now you have two options. Okay. You can do it manually, like with a regular watch. All right. Or yeah. you can let the watch do it automatically by receiving a radio signal. Oh, I like the sound of that. Right. The automatic option. We recommend the radio controlled option. Yeah. Especially if you travel frequently. Right. Ensures you always have the right time. Exactly. Even if you're constantly changing time zones. Makes sense. The manual has detailed instructions for both methods. Okay. Now, let's say you're in New York, but you need to schedule a call with a colleague in Tokyo. Okay. Yeah. You can instantly see what time it is in Tokyo right on your wrist. Oh, wow. With the world time function. That's amazing. You can even set a separate alarm for that time zone. Oh, that's cool. No more fumbling around with time zone conversion. Right. That makes it so much easier. Or separate alarm clocks. Yeah, that's a game changer. This is one of those features. Yeah. You don't think you need until you have it. Totally. 
and that you can't live without it. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what else is a game changer? Okay. The Skyhawk's power saving function. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It's super smart. Yeah. If the watch senses it, hasn't seen any light for about 30 minutes, yeah. it'll go into power saving mode. It does. Which means it turns off the LCD displays uh -huh. to save energy. Conserve that battery. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But don't worry, it's still keeping track of the time. Oh, yeah. In the background. It's a smart watch. And then if it stays dark for like a whole week, oh wow, it goes into a deeper power saving mode. Okay. Where even the hands stop moving. Wow. It's like it's taking a nap. Yeah. But still counting the seconds. It's working hard even when it's sleeping. I know, right? And yeah. to wake it up, mm -hmm. just expose it to some light again. Yeah. And the hands will magically jump. They do. To the yeah. current time. That's like a time traveling ninja. I love that analogy. Yeah. Speaking of ninjas. Okay. Let's talk about the chronograph. Oh, the chronograph. Now this isn't like your grandpa's stopwatch. No. This thing can measure time. Yeah. Down to a hundredth of a second. That's incredible. So imagine your timing lapse at the track. Okay. With the Skyhawk, you can record split times uh -huh. with incredible precision. So it's like having a professional timing system. Exactly. Right on your wrist. Right there on your wrist. And then yeah. for those everyday moments when you just need to keep track of something, yeah. there's a timer. There is. A built-in timer. And it's super versatile. It is. You can set countdowns from one minute yeah. all the way up to 99 minutes. I didn't know it went that high. Oh. 99 minutes and get this. Okay. It has an auto return function. What's that? So after the alarm sounds, uh -huh. it automatically resets back to the initial time you set. Oh, wow. Perfect for like interval training. Oh, yeah. Or if you're the type of person who likes to time everything. Oh, sure. Now, let's not forget about the receive settings. Okay. This is where you can really fine tune how your Skyhawk connects to those atomic clocks. I love this feature. It's great. Yeah. You can customize things like when the watch attempts to sync okay. with the atomic clock. Yeah. And how it handles daylight saving time. Oh, yeah. So there are options for automatic updates. Uh -huh. manual control, okay, or even disabling automatic reception altogether. Wow, so you have a lot of control. You do, you have a ton of control. That's great. So if you're in an area with spotty reception, yeah. you can manually choose when to sync. Gotcha. Or if you just want to be in total control, yeah. you can turn off the automatic updates completely. It's really all about personalization. I like that. Yeah, giving you the power to kind of tailor the Skyhawk to your needs. That's really cool. And for those times when you need to see your watch in the dark, yes, there are these really cool built-in LED lights there are, huh? that illuminate the digital displays. I love those. So just press that upper right button. Yeah. And blah. Instant visibility. Instant visibility. Yeah. But keep in mind, though, okay. the lights won't turn on during certain functions. Right. Like if the chronograph is running or if the watch is in power-saving mode. Makes some sense. Because it needs to focus all its energy on those tasks. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now let's talk about durability. Okay. This watch is built to last. It is. It's water resistant. Oh, yeah. Up to 20 atmospheres. 20 atmospheres. Which means you can swim, snorkel, even do some light diving. Wow, that's really impressive. Yeah, it's pretty durable. Yeah, but always good to double check. Right. The manual. Yeah, before taking it for a deep dive. Yes. Always a good idea. And remember to rinse it with fresh water. Yeah. After it's been exposed to salt water. Good point. To prevent corrosion. Salt water can be harsh. Yeah, but gotcha. even though this watch is tough, uh -huh. there are a few things you should avoid. Okay, what's that? To keep it in tip-top shape. All right. Like, don't leave it on your car dashboard in direct sunlight. Oh, yeah. Why is that? The excessive heat Okay. could damage the internal components. Gotcha. And try to avoid strong magnets. Okay. Static electricity. Right. Strong shocks. Makes sense. All these can mess with the watch's accuracy and performance. Good to know. So treat your Skyhawk with care. Yeah. And it'll reward you with years of service. For sure. Now for a feature that's both incredibly cool. Yeah. And surprisingly useful. Okay. The slide rule bezel. Oh, yeah. Yes, this watch has a built-in slide rule. I know what you're thinking. Okay. Slide rules. Yeah. Aren't those from like the Stone Age? Yeah. But trust me, <laughs> they're still incredibly versatile. They are. You can use them for all sorts of calculations. Oh, uh, yeah. Like multiplication division, uh -huh. unit conversions, even fuel consumption rates. I love it. It's amazing. Like having a mini calculator on your wrist. Right there on your wrist. Yeah. And the Skyhawk slide rule bezel. Yeah. It's a simplified version of a traditional slide rule. Okay. But it can still handle a surprising range of calculations. It's pretty impressive. 
Imagine you're planning a flight. Okay. You can use the slide roll bezel yeah. to estimate your flight time. Oh, wow. Based on your speed and distance. That's really cool. It's not just a cool throwback feature. No. It's actually quite practical. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And of course, the slide rule provides estimations. Right. Rather than exact calculations. Mm -hmm. But yeah. for quick on the go calculations, yeah. it's a surprisingly handy tool. It really is. It's just another example of how Citizen managed to pack yeah. so much functionality into this watch uh -huh. without making it overly complicated to use. Yeah, they really did a great job. And speaking of functionality, okay. let's go back to the power saving function. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember how the watch goes into like a deep sleep? Yeah. If it's left in the dark for a wink? Yeah. Well, even in that deep sleep mode... Yeah. It's still keeping track of the time internally. Oh, wow. So when you bring it back into the light... Yeah the hands will jump to the correct time. That's incredible. Even if it's been a while. It's like it never even stopped. Right. It's a testament to the EcoDrive technology. It is. Combining sustainability with precision. For sure. And remember, a fully charged Skyhawk can run for six months yeah. without needing more light. That's incredible. It's always ready for action. So we've covered a lot of ground. We have. From setting the time yeah. to mastering the slide rule bezel. Absolutely. But there's one more crucial element we need to discuss. Okay, what's that? The watch's overall impact on you wearer. Oh, interesting. That's We've a... explored all these features. Yeah, we have. The atomic timekeeping, the slide rule bezel. Mm, yeah. What does it all really mean? Right. For the person actually wearing this watch. I think it goes beyond just having the right time. Okay. Or even just having a cool gadget on your wrist. Yeah. It's more about the feeling that this watch gives you. Okay. The confidence, mm. knowing that you've got this tool. Yeah. That can pretty much handle anything. Like you're always prepared. Exactly. Mm. You're never caught off road by time zones. Right. You can time anything with incredible precision. Uh -huh. You've got that backup calculator right there. You always have the tool you need. Exactly. And yeah. there's also something really cool about yeah. knowing how this watch actually works. Yeah. Like under the hood, mm -hmm. you've got the solar power, the radio signals, yeah. the intricate mechanics. All that tech. It's like a tiny marvel of engineering right there on your wrist. And you know, yeah. it looks pretty darn good too. It does. It does. Yeah. That classic analog style with those little hints of futuristic tech. Right. The digital display is the slide rule bezel. It's a statement piece. It is. It really is. It's subtle. Yeah. But it makes you stand out. It really does. Yeah. So yeah. big takeaway from our deep dive into the Citizen Skyhawk Eco Drive. Okay. What's the one thing we want you to walk away with? I think for me it's this. Yeah. Sometimes the most impressive tech mm -hmm. is the kind that just blends seamlessly into our lives. It just works. It just works. Yeah. This watch doesn't need to scream for attention. No, it doesn't. But it just quietly elevates your everyday experience. It's a perfect blend of functionality. It is. Sustainability style. For sure. It's a watch that empowers you to explore. Yes. To connect. Yeah. To live life with a sense of precision. And purpose. And purpose. If you've ever felt like the world is moving too fast. Yeah. Or that you're constantly playing catch up. Uh-huh. This watch is a reminder yeah. that you can be in control. That you can be present. You can be present. In the moment. It's about harnessing the power of technology. Yeah. To live more intentionally. Absolutely. To appreciate those small details. The little things. Yeah. That make up a well-lived life. Well, this is the end of our deep dive. It is. But we hope. Yeah. This is just the beginning mm -hmm. of your exploration into the Citizen Skyhawk Eco Drive. Absolutely. If this conversation has piqued your interest. Yeah. We encourage yes. you to dive deeper. Dive deeper into the instruction manual. Yeah. It's got tons of cool information. Act with fascinating details. Yeah. And as you strap on your Skyhawk yeah. and head out into the world, yeah. remember this. So, okay. It's not just about keeping time. What is it about? It's about making the most of every second. I love that. So go forth, explore, connect. Uh, yes. Let the Citizen Skyhawk Eco Drive. Be your trusted companion. Your co-pilot yeah. life. On every adventure. Absolutely. Until next time, keep diving deep. Keep seeking knowledge. And keep seeking knowledge. <laughs>